Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. This is Brian with Superman's Comics. A little bit different. We're outside today. Got trusty cigar. Got some tasty bourbon. That's right. Got to go with the Blantons for this time of year. It's a very special video today. I'm going to give you my top five comic book series of 2021. These aren't the hottest comic book series. They might not be the most popular, but they're my top five. That's why I want to do this video with the cigar, with the tasty bourbon, and tell you about my favorite comic book series of 2021. <clears throat> First one out the gate. Going with Marvel here. This is the one I talked about in a lot of the videos. And it's been not just the top series of this past year, but the previous year as well for me. And we are talking about Chip Zdarsky's Daredevil run. He just finished his run on Daredevil. Can't say enough good things about it. And we got more Chip Zdarsky Daredevil that just starting to hit with that Devil's Reign storyline. And there's even more Chip Zdarsky Daredevil with Elektra and the pipeline that's coming on the very near future. We are going into 2022 with some more Zdarsky Daredevil goodness. I can't wait for it. And if you have not read it, I highly suggest you do so. I don't read a lot of big two comics, but Chip Zdarsky's Daredevil is definitely one that I read, I love, highly recommend. Marco Cicero art is phenomenal. It's got some fantastic covers over that whole storyline. So if you're looking for a good recommendation from Marvel, definitely check out that Chip. Zdarsky, Daredevil. Uh. He. Next series I want to talk about is from Boom Studios. And yes, I'm sure there's a lot of series that people think I'm going to talk about here, but I bet the one I'm going to talk to you about may surprise you. My favorite series from Boom Studios right now and this past year and the year before that is Seven Secrets. That's right, big fan of Tom Taylor. We get Tom Taylor writing this creator owned series. If you're a fan of Miles Morales, you will like Seven Secrets. If you're a fan of James Bond type stories, you will like Seven Secrets. This is one series I keep talking about. I think it's overshadowed by Something is Killing the Children. I think Once in Future is a great one. I think there's another boom, there's a lot of boom series right now that a lot of people are talking about, but Seven Secrets is one you don't hear a lot of people talking about. It is one that I can't recommend enough and highly suggest you pick it up. If you don't wanna go pick the single issues up, go back and get those trade paperbacks. And you can also get that first volume of that Seven Secrets trade paperback. It's available to read digitally for free online through your local library. That's right. If you're not familiar with Hoopla, I have a video on my very channel that talks all about that fantastic app. Highly recommend you get that. And you can try out Seven Secrets for free. So good. So good. Next one I want to talk to you guys about is from DC. It started with that young animal imprint. It is now carried over into the main DC universe. And we are talking about Joe Mullane. That's what we are talking about. Far Sector, big Green Lantern fan. And Far Sector, yes, that series has ended, but that character has not, as she has carried over into the current Green Lantern title and is up there front and center. Yes, we know about Cruz, we know about Baz, but I'm telling you right now, Joe Mullane is a character to be on the lookout for. That Far Sector series, issues one through 12, you can pick that up in trade paperback. Fantastic series. But if you're not reading that current Green Lantern, volume six, it's got her front and center. Super, super powerful. If you're a Green Lantern fan, highly recommend you pick this up. I love Green Lantern and I love Far Sector. So it's definitely one of my favorite series from this past year. Also, another thing that was big this year is Kaiju. Kaiju is back. We got Kaiju all over the place, especially in comics. We got Kaiju score from Aftershock. We know that's being picked up, being developed. Attack Peter, one of my favorite friends of Simple Man's comics. He does all those great block prints of Kaiju. He's got his own universe growing over there. So make sure you guys check out Attack Peter YouTube as well as on Skybound's website. Skybound has a collaboration with Attack Peter where you can get t-shirts, mugs, prints, but make sure you guys are following Attack Peter on Instagram. I digress and hit this awesome cigar. But I want to get over to Image for a second because we talked about Skybound. One of the best kaiju comics of 21 was that James Heron's Ultra Mega. If you're a fan of kaiju, a lot of people, it's got some mixed reviews, but most of them has been positive. I know I've enjoyed this and 
This is one that I've noticed has also ended up on some of the bigger sites, best comic book sites of 2021 as well. So it's definitely on mine. There's a lot of stuff to pick from, from Image, from Skybound. And there's a lot of one that I was like, which one do I add? But Ultra Mega definitely deserves a spot in my top five. I also, speaking of Attack Peter, I picked up that Comics Vault Live Attack Peter variant in 9.8. Super excited to have that. Let me know in the comments, are you reading Ultra Mega? And what do you guys think of it? If you haven't picked it up, this is one I recommend. That's why I'm doing this video. And the last one I want to talk about for my favorite comic book series of 2021. Here's another one that's, I can't just say it's 2021. This is one I've been talking about on this channel for years. Had the creators on here multiple times. And I'm a big fan of Disney. Have talked about how this series kind of touches on that Disney feeling of nostalgia. It touches all age groups from kids, from adults to young teens. And of course, I am talking about IDW's Canto from David Boer. Drew Zucker, great, great guys, great, great creators, and I love to see the success that this comic series has had. I have not met someone or anyone that has picked this book up yet and has come back and said, you know what? That book isn't for me. Everyone I know that's picked this up has read it. And if you didn't like it, that's okay because that's your opinion as well. But it's one of my favorite series and I'd like to say I'm the number one fan, but I can't take that title because we all know friend of the channel, Lala Schultze. Make sure you're following her on Instagram hands down the number one Kanto fan. I think she's got Kanto wallpaper in her house, named her baby after Kanto. I'm just making that stuff up, but my dog's back there barking her butt off right now because she loves Kanto. But either way, make sure you guys are picking this up. Pick up the trade paperbacks. It has gone from, we're in volume three right now, we got Lionhearted. There's also a few one shots and they're all tying into that Kanto universe, which is coming together into that great animated movie which is picked up by Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's production company. Canto, probably my favorite comic book series of 2021. I gave you five. Canto is my favorite, of course. Let me know in the comments, what are you guys' favorite comic book series? And if you're new to this channel, I do a lot of comic, pop culture related content. Please consider subscribing. With that being said, this is Brown with Superman's Comics. Have a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will see you guys.